This is an optic nerve thinned out and damaged from glaucoma. This is an applination tonometer measuring the eye pressure to indicate control of glaucoma. If eye pressure is too high, nerve fibers in the optic nerve will die. As optic nerve fibers die, glaucoma is seen in the optic nerve with a thinner and thinner rim on the edge of the nerve. This shows an optic nerve cup that's small. This shows an optic nerve cup that's very large due to loss of the optic nerve rim as it's very damaged from glaucoma. Glaucoma medications lower eye pressure. They can turn off production of fluid inside the eye or increase drainage of fluid to the outside of the eye. There are four main categories of glaucoma eye drops. Each category typically has a different color of lid so you can tell which eye drops are in the same category if they have the same color top. Prostaglandins have an aqua or teal colored top. Beta blockers are yellow. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors have an orange top. And alpha-2 agonists are purple. Patients with advanced glaucoma may need an eye drop from each category to control their eye pressure. Eye pressure can be reduced by using a medication from different categories. Prostaglandins have an aqua-colored cap. You've probably heard of Lumigan, Travitan, Zalatan. These are brand names for prostaglandin drops. The generic names are Travaprost, Bimataprost, Latanoprost. All prostaglandins are taken at nighttime or QHS. We abbreviate directions for taking eye drops at night with the written prescription here. One drop in each eye, QHS. Prostaglandin medications increase flow of fluid out of the eye through the trabecular meshwork. Other medications shut down production of fluid. Beta blockers have a yellow cap, such as Timolol, and they reduce production of fluid inside the eye. They are taken twice daily. Thorzolamide, or Trusopt, is a carbonic anhy anhydrase inhibitor and is also twice a day. Azopt and Trusopt are brand names and can also be found by their generic names of brinzolamide and dorzolamide. People with sulfa allergies cannot take carbonic anhydrase inhibitors because it has a sulfa-based molecule and will cause a rash. Finally, alphagan or bromonidine is an alpha agonist and is twice a day. The abbreviation for take twice daily is BID. Comagan has the combination of alphagan and timolol in it, taken twice a day. Cosopt is made by combining dorsolamide and timolol in a combination drop taken twice daily. Simbrinza is a combination eye drop of alphagan and azopt taken twice daily. A patient on maximum medical therapy may be taking four glaucoma drops. They could also be taking two glaucoma drops and be allergic to two categories. Instructions to take eye drops includes pulling the eyelid down and putting the eye drop in the pocket of the lower lid like this.